what's good y'all your boy ross back at it again with another video so we're gonna check out worst wwe injuries of 2022 i always say this i always want to be able to show respect and appreciation for any wrestler out there that's willing to put their bodies on the line man these injuries uh you know they happen it's, it's just a part of the business and for them to be willing to a lot of times wrestle with a major or serious injury shows their testament uh shows their their uh, i guess you could say their strength and their testament to the business and just being able to still try to put on the best performance uh possible i think the most noticeable one we can all kind of go back and remember from this year and probably was the most gruesome looking one was cody rose tearing his peck and still wrestling in a hell in a cell match and putting on a great performance to me that's that's championship worthy right there that that's that's something you put the championship on that person whenever they come back hopefully that is the case so we're gonna check out some of these uh some of these injuries and uh appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel let's do the damn thing it's one of the most dangerous things you can do and every year numerous wwe wrestlers get injured oh my We've god some pretty bad injuries right over there. the years and Always 2022 was no different the idea of wrestling is that you don't actually hit each other but sometimes mistakes happen yeah, and they can be quite bloody on smackdown natalia took on Shayna baszler in a one-on-one -on -one match but ronda rousey was in baszler's corner Baszler didn't need any help though, as she's able to beat her opponent on her own. After the match though, Rousey told Shayna the job wasn't finished yet, leading to the Queen of Spades nailing Natalia with a knee to the face. The move actually did connect though, oh and Natalia's God. nose was broken and bleeding. Unfortunately, the accident actually dislocated Natalia's nose, oh and it required her gosh. to undergo surgery. SummerSlam 2022 kicked off with <laughs> Becky Lynch. <laughs> Bro, that's brutal and then this situation with becky lynch i believe she ended up dislocating her shoulder or i believe it was her shoulder and she challenged bianca belair for the raw women's championship which was a rematch from wrestlemania 38 which was a rematch from the previous year's SummerSlam. Yeah. however only about three minutes into it becky fell yeah. on her right shoulder the landing caused lynch's shoulder to pop out of its socket oh. and it was clear becky was in pain as she kept oh. checking on it throughout the match the injury became more and more visible as the oh, match progressed my but lynch God. didn't let it stop her and she got the job done Finished in november 2022 our truth wrestled his first match on nxt since 2011 but it turned turned out to be a bad decision. Yeah, During the match, you know, Truth performed hurt. a somersault to his opponent on the outside. Truth clipped oh. the top rope though and didn't jump far enough, causing him to crash hard onto the floor. Oh. The former 24-7 champion grabbed his left leg and the referee soon called off the match and R-Truth was helped backstage. It was later found out that the accident tore Truth's quad and he needed to undergo surgery. One of the Ooh, defining- Hey man, wishing R-Truth a speedy recovery. I can only imagine how painful that was. Uh, and then, of course, the Cody Rose torn peck. God, uh, this has to be in this list, obviously. Of 2022 was Cody oh. Rhodes' gruesome torn pectoral muscle. Oh. But how did he actually get injured? On the Raw before Cody's Hell in a Cell match with Seth Rollins, Rhodes and Rollins got into a brawl. During the fight, Cody tore his right pectoral tendon. That was bad enough. But a few days later, while weight training, Rhodes tore the tendon completely off the bone. That's why oh. the injury looked so bad oh when fans saw it God. at Hell in a Cell. Additionally, the reason WWE allowed Cody Rhodes to wrestle was that he couldn't do any more damage. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, the injury sidelined Cody Rhodes for the rest of the year. This injury was pretty oh, unique. Man. On Raw in June 2022, Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, and Dewdrop fought in a fatal oh, four-way match. Gosh. The winner got to face Bianca Belair at Money in the Bank for the Raw Women's Championship. At one point in the match, Morgan gave Bliss a kick to the gut, which caused Alexa to DDT Ripley. What actually hurt Rhea, though, was her own knee. Ripley's boot got caught on the rope, which caused her face to collide oh. with her leg. It didn't seem so bad until Rhea Ripley shared a picture of the damage the accident caused to her mouth. Oh. On top of that, the injury also gave Ripley a concussion. Thankfully, after about a month on the sidelines, Rhea was back in action. Not all WWE- oh, Okay, and that's that's why she was kind of sidelined, because obviously your knee hitting your face at that speed could definitely give you a concussion. This is why people don't realize how tight those ropes are, bro. You can get a concussion just from hitting the ropes. If you hit it at enough speed, if you guys remember the Enzo Amore uh, uh, situation where he tried to slide under the, the bottom rope, but instead his head ended up hitting the rope and the canvas, and he was pretty much out, it's a possibility, man. This is it's a dangerous sport.
injuries happened on TV. During a triple threat match at a non-televised WWE show, Carmella, Asuka, and Bianca Belair all faced off for the Raw Women's title. As the match was starting to come to the end, Carmella tried to pull a fast one on Belair by attacking her from behind. Bianca got out of harm's way with a backflip, but Carmella immediately crumbled to the mat and went outside of the ring. It appears their timing was off and Belair's tailbone smacked Carmella's head. Whoa. An image was later shared on social Whoa. media showing exactly the damage the botch move did to Mella. Whenever weapons get involved, Damn. it's very easy for a wrestler to get hurt, and we witnessed this on SmackDown in August 2022. In the lead up to his match against Roman Reigns at Clash at the Castle, McIntyre took on Honoré Us, Sami Zayn. McIntyre won the match, but he didn't end the night on a high note. Roman and the Usos came in and attacked the Scottish Warrior. They battered McIntyre with chairs and threw his body all around the ringside yeah, area. The you could here. already see marks forming on Drew's body, but up close pictures taken bro, backstage showed just how much damage here, the beatdown did to McIntyre. You know an injury is bad when the match is immediately stopped and the mm -hmm. referee throws up the X sign. Yep. Unfortunately, that's what happened in the main event of NXT UK in February 2022. Blair Davenport and Mako Satomura fought in a Japanese street fight. Despite the match type, the injury was not caused by any weapon. Davenport jumped from the top turnbuckle and hit Satomura with a stomp to the back. Blair landed awkwardly on her left foot and oh. began shouting in pain. Within seconds, the referee called oh. for the bell and gave the X sign, signaling that this injury was real. The landing hurt Blair's left ankle, but thankfully, after being out of action for about four months, Damn, Blair was able painful. to return to the ring. Ladder matches are some of those brutal matches WWE puts on for each sure. year, and the Tales of 22 Women's Money in the Bank was no exception. One of the participants was Shotzi, uh, who had a rough night. She had a few yeah, this uh, she she was involved in quite quite a bit of botches um you know hey she got a lot of her heat for her criticism on social media but you know what I'm saying you live and you learn and it's just a part of wrestling you know all you can do is hopefully you know hopefully you know if she is in another uh, money in the bank match or a ladder match maybe it'll be a little bit better for her so a few mistakes during the match but the worst is when she went for a senton Shotzi performed the move from the top rope but ended up hitting the ladder oh below my it God. appears her back and or head got clipped by the ladder on the oh way down in my. any case the move did bust Shotzi open oh. as evident by the blood on her face oh. perhaps the worst injury of 2022 was when Big E broke his neck on oh, Smackdown yeah. to see what happened watch the video yeah that was actually I Man, time is going by so quick. That was uh, that did happen this year. Hoping uh, Biggie has a speedy, uh, speedy recovery as well. Man, it's just one of those type of things where when you gotta sometimes you gotta expect that accidents will happen you can try to be as safe as possible but sometimes timing is off and you end up with injuring someone or injuring yourself unintentionally you know the only time it becomes an issue is if it's a common occurrence with you and you're constantly injuring people constantly hurting people then it may be a situation where you might may not be as safe as you're supposed to be and you may have to switch up your moveset or something but comment down below let me know which injury for you was the most cringeworthy that you've seen in wwe this year for me it's out of the torn peck by um by cody rose in wrestling that match with a torn peck or Big E's because obviously that's dealing with the neck and head reason and when i saw the clip because i don't think i watched that uh smackdown live but i saw the clip and it just instantly made me cringe because he landed literally on the top of his head and it, it just you know that's that's a scary situation so that those are the top two i can think of that just instantly when i i think about it or see it i just instantly cringe man but respect to all the wrestlers out there that show us entertainment throughout the year putting their bodies on the line we appreciate it and uh you know we appreciate what you guys do for us man but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown road to 150k appreciate y'all keeping with me see you on the next one peace